All right, so DCS is a lot of fun, and it's even more fun when you can download free aircraft on the forums or in the community page, like the Goshawk or the A4. Those are fantastic mods, at least in my opinion, and they're free. And you can install those in DCS and actually have fun with them. As long as the server that you're flying on has those mods installed, you can fly those free aircraft on those servers. Not all servers have them, but some of them do, and it makes it a lot, a lot of fun, especially for those of you who don't really want to shell out $80 for the F-16, or you know, you want something to fly other than just the P-51 and the Frogfoot until the sale comes on, and you can start buying aircraft that you actually want to fly. You can download these free mods and install them and fly them. It's a lot of fun. You also have a lot of liveries, not necessarily mods, but they're liveries. And then you've got uh, like the Echo 19 sound mod that I use and the yellow uh, MFD text mod that I've showed in my last video. Oh, I used to install these manually. Like I would actually go to the save games folder inside uh, the C drive and I would install the liveries there or Echo 19 sound mod in the in root directory, root install installation directory for C uh, DCS, or I would install all of these free aircraft one by one. I would install the folders where they are supposed to be in the installation directories. And it was, a you know, it, it's not that big of a task, but what became a problem is if we ran into a bug or if I, if I saw an IC check problem, you know, and the only way you can troubleshoot that, or well, the best way to troubleshoot it, is to uninstall all your mods and then reinstall them one by one until you find the mod that's causing the problem, if it's a mod problem. Sometimes it ends up just being DCS, but most of the time it's a mod that's it's conflicting with some folder that DCS is trying to call, and the mod file is, is causing a problem there. And the only way you're going to know is to uninstall everything and start over. And that is a daunting task when you've done this manually and you've got all these files all over your computer and you've got to find which one it is and or you simply just don't want to have that mod anymore so you have to go find all the files and, and uninstall them sometimes they're not all in the same directory sometimes they're kind of spread out so yeah I, this is how I did it for many many years until someone showed me OVGME and I know a lot of you probably already seen this and you probably already clicked off the video but for those of you who have never heard of OVGME it makes installing mods so much simpler once you have it set up and you have the mods file location all set up and, and the structure set up it's as simple as clicking on the mod you want and click enable and you're done and click on the mod you want to disable click disable and you're done and it'll actually remove those files from your dcs installation so it's it's awesome i love ovgma ovgme and i highly recommend it so i'm going to show you how to install this and how to set it up so first things first i've got the link for the installer in the description below so click on that it'll take you to the hoggetworld.com page for ovgme once you're there you can just scroll down so you see installing ovgme and just click on the exe download or you can Download the zip if you would prefer. I'm going to use the EXE here. Once you have it downloaded, I've got it right here. Just double click on the EXE. Click I accept the agreement. Click next. You can install this anywhere you want. It does not matter where you install it. Click next. Select your language. Click next. You can create a desktop shortcut if you want. I'm just going to click next. Click install. And that's it. Done. Uh, check the box for launch OVGME and click finish. And we're going to call this first configuration, we're going to call it DCS main. And we'll do the saved games uh, later. So right, uh, we're going to go through both because sometimes when you're installing like that yellow MFD font in my last video, that has to be installed in the main root installation directory for DCS. It doesn't work in the saved games directory. So to do it right, it has to go in the main. So I just set up two configurations. So DCS main, we're going to browse to DCS main. So C drive. Program Files, Eagle Dynamics, DCS World Open Beta, or if you just have the regular client, DCS World, and then click OK. All right, Configurations Mods folder. Now, for the Mods folder, if you have a mod, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to download the uh, F-16 Block 50 Yellow MFD Overhaul. All right, I'm going to click that. So I have a completely separate drive for uh, my DCS mods. Uh, you can create a different directory inside your C drive if you have the space for mods and just create a folder called DCS mods. You can do this on the desktop, wherever you want it, but that folder needs to be in a different location than where your saved games folder is or where the main installation folder for DCS is. And the re reason being is, uh, so here, let me give you an example here. So if you've installed mods before, you know that you usually have to install them in the saved games folder under the aircraft or whatever that you, you know, like if it's a livery 
library or if it's uh, some sort of a sound mod, you have to put it in the saves games folder. I know the yellow MFD goes into the main installation route, but this is just a, an example. So what LVGME does is you have a separate folder somewhere else on your computer. It does not need to be related or anywhere inside your DCS folder structure, just somewhere else. And what OVGME does is you tell it where that folder is and it will show it'll show all your mods that you have all the folders you have and the names of those folders in that mods folder and then when you click the mod that you want and you click enable what it does is it makes a copy of that and it pastes it into the saved games folder because it knows where the saved games folder is and it knows where the mods is when you click that, that mod in the ovgme ui and you click disable it'll simply just delete that file inside the saved games folder, but it keeps it over here in the mods folder. So it always has it and it just copies it, pastes it over there and then deletes it when you tell it to go away. When you want it, you, it pastes it over there. When you don't want it, it deletes it. That's it. But this remains the same. So uh, you have two folders. You have to tell it where the saved games folder is and you have to tell it where the mods folder is. And that's how it works. So the mods folder, I'm going to browse to it right now. Mine is under my games drive, DCS mods, and there we go. You can customize a, a backup folder. I'm not going to do that. Click go, and there we go. So now I can see all my liveries. A lot of these are liveries, and then I've got the Echo 19 sound pack for the 16 and the Mustang. I got the yellow MFD font mod. Um, now, if I click on this, it will install it in DCS World Open Beta, not my saved games folder, because that's where I've got this configuration is set up to uh, DCS main, right? So if I click enable, there it goes, and it's installing that in my main installation folder where, where it should go. Um, and then I can disable it, and it'll oops, select it, then disable it, and it'll delete those folder or those files out of the installation directory. All right, so now let's create the saved games configuration. So we'll click new, and we'll call it DCS save games and the root folder is going to be the dcs save games so c drive users your user uh saved games dcs open beta and that's it click ok and then the mods folder again of course so dcs mods ok and create all right so now i can go to main or i can go to save games you can see right here save games dcs open beta you can go to main Eagle Dynamics DCS World Open Beta. All right, so that's how you configure it. That's how you set it up. To do this right so that it installs, so that when I click on this, so if I go to Save Games and I click on um, 18th FS, this is the uh, livery pack that I created. I'll put a link to it in the description below. So here I am in the Saved Games directory, and I can go to Liveries and the F16 Block 50, and there's nothing in there. If I want to, I can select the 18th fighter squadron livery and click enable selected and it's going to paste everything from the mods directory that i told it you know that i showed it where it was at it's taking all of that and it's pasting all those liveries into the f-16 saved games livery folder yeah it's pretty big i i, I made pretty high res uh <laughs> liveries here okay and now that's installed it's enabled and we know it's enabled because there if I select the 18th FS and I disable selected, it's going to just remove them and they're gone. There they go. So that's how it works. How do you set it up to do this though? You have to set it up correctly. So you can't just throw the file in your mods directory willy nilly. You actually have to set this up right. So we're going to go over to my mods directory. Okay. So games, we're going to go to DCS mods. So in my 18th FS folder, if I double click it, it says liveries. So it's in relation to the root of DCS open beta under saved games. So, so if I go to users, my username, saved games, and DCS open beta, the next folder into where the liveries go would be liveries. So I'm going to click on liveries. And over here in my mods folder, I'm going to click on it. And you'll see it says F16. So the next folder in the structure is F16 underscore 50, right? So I'm going to double click on that, and this is where the livery would reside. So I'm going to double click on that, and here's all the liveries that I want to be installed when I click 18FS and click Enable. This is where it needs to go. All right, so you have to create the same structure inside the name of the mod that you want. So, um, for example, the F Echo 19 F16, if I double click on that, it goes to Mods. So I'm going to have to go...
into mods, and then it goes into tech, tech, and this is where it would go. All right, so if I click on Echo 19, I click enabled. That's where it goes, right where it's supposed to go. So look look at the installation guide. It's usually a readme text inside whatever mod you're installing, and it'll tell you where to put it. And usually mods don't come, when you download them, they don't come with the, the right structure. It's just you unzip it, and this is what's inside the zip file, right? So you'd have to create a tech folder and then throw that in there. And then you'd have to create a mods folder and put the tech folder inside the mods folder and then create an Echo 19 F16 or whatever you want to call it. It really doesn't matter. And then put that folder inside the Echo, the, the mods folder inside the Echo 19 folder. And then it'll show up here in OVGME. So as an example, I'm going to show you how this goes. So we're going to go to user files and we'll just search bogey dope. And that's me, oh, Bogey Dope Actual. We'll just select, uh, let's just select one of my um, my liveries. So we'll click on this one. We'll download it. So now that we've got it downloaded, I'm going to launch OVGME. Here it is. And this is how this works. We're going to um, take this 18th Fighter Squadron and we're going to extract it. Now we've got this. Inside is literally the livery right there, right off the bat, which isn't going to work. So if I take this and I copy it and I paste it into my DCS mods location, and then I go in here and I'm going to close OVGME, relaunch it. It's going to show 18th FS. And let's close this and let's go to DCS open beta um, save games. We're going to click on liveries, F16, all right? If I click 18th FS and I click enable, where did it go? It didn't go here. It didn't go here either. It went in here. See, here's the, here's the livery. Just a mess, right? And that's not going to load. That's not going to work. So check 18th FS, click disable. That'll delete all that. There we go. So to do this right, I'm going to close OVGME, and I'm going to figure out where it needs to go. For, so it needs to go under liveries, F16C underscore 50. All right. So we're going to take this, copy it, and we're going to open up the 18th FS folder. This is that uh, livery that I downloaded. I'm going to create a new folder, and we're going to paste that F16C underscore 50 right here in the new folder name. And then we're going to take everything, control all, control click, so that's everything into that folder. All right. Then I'm going to create a new folder. We're going to call it liveries. And it has to be the exact same spelling as the one in uh, DCS's saved games location. So liveries, capital L. And we're going to paste, or we're going to drag, rather, the F16C underscore 50 folder into liveries. So now, if I click on 18th FS, it's going to go to liveries, F16C underscore 50. And then we're going to create a new folder inside here. We're going to call this 18th FS. Take all that and put it in there. All right. So now, launch OVGME, click 18th FS, click Enable Selected, and it's going to put it where it belongs. Now if I open that up, it's there, ready to go, and I'll be able to actually use it in DCS. So that's how that works. Uh, I know that's a little bit of a setup, but once it's set up, now, from now on, all I've got to do is select the mods I want, click disable, and it removes all the files. I don't have to do anything. I don't even have to have this open. Just sit there and enable stuff and disable stuff. It's it's simple. It's a lot easier. Um, I can install the Mustang uh, sound mod. If I don't like it, I can uh, disable it, and it'll remove the files for me. I don't have to do anything. Uh, it's very, very simple. Uh, and then if I want to do the yellow MFD font, uh, that I showed in my last video, 
uh, click this up here, go to DCS main because it says it has to be done in the main folder. So we're going to click that and then click enable and it'll go to main. It'll go under program files, Eagle Dynamics, DCS world open beta instead of in the saved games directory, which we don't want. Um, so, so I wanted to make this video because I've seen a lot of installation videos on how to install and set up OVGME and I haven't seen any that actually explained the structure, the folder structure. They just put your mods in here. Well, uh, you have to have the structure. It won't work. You have to have that structure. So you have to, it, it knows where to put things based on what's inside this folder here. And I hope I'm explaining this uh, in a way that's easy to understand. Um, but uh, yeah, once you have the, the name of the folder that you want, then the structure that you want, and then put the livery in there or the mod, whatever mod it is. So let's do let's do a mod. Let's do uh, the Gosshawk. All right. So for an example, let's get the VNAO T45 Gosshawk installed. So we're gonna extract this. And I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna put it in my DCS mods folder. All right. Paste. There it is, and it already shows it here in OVGME. All right, so we're gonna open that up, and we know it's not in the right spot, right? Because this is this is the mod right here. We need to put it in the right spot. So let's go into my C drive and save games, DCS open beta, and under mods. This is where it's gonna go. It needs to go under a folder called aircraft. So I'm going to create a folder called aircraft. And inside there is where the mod will go. All right. So inside here, I'm going to create a new folder called aircraft. Throw that in there. And then I'm going to create another folder called mods. I'm going to throw the aircraft folder in there. And that's it. So now, inside Save Games, DCS Open Beta, Mods, Aircraft, and then the VNAO T45 uh, will go there. So I'm going to click on the Saved Games configuration, click VNAO, and Enable. And there it is. So now let's launch DCS and see if we've got it. And here we are. We're going to go and go to instant action. And there it is, VNAO T45. We're already there. Now, if you haven't uh, tried this mod out, I highly recommend it. It is a fantastic mod. Multi-crew. You can uh, do your carrier quals on it. It's it's pretty slick. I love it. And then, of course, if I don't want it anymore, I just select that mod, click Disable Selected, and relaunch DCS. And we'll go into Instant Action. And there it is. The VNAO T45 is not there anymore. So I hope that explains uh, OVGME and how to set it up uh, more thoroughly. Um, and I hope this helps you guys out. This has helped me out a lot, uh, especially with troubleshooting. And it just makes things so much easier once it's set up. I know it's quite a bit of work to get it set up at first, but once it's set up, just clicking the mods you want and then clicking enabled or disable is all you have to do. It's awesome. I, I love it. So anyway, so yeah, hope this helps.